less than one minute to launch, there'll be a series of other commands, and then you'll see those umbilical towers, there's two, uh, start retracting from the Soyuz vehicle prior to launch. Vehicle to internal power. Vehicle is now on internal power. You can see the first umbilical tower retracted. Auto sequence initiated. Auto sequence is initiated. That second tower now retracting. Ten seconds from launch. Second umbilical tower separates. Engines have started and are now at the preliminary thrust level, throttling up. Engines have and lift off. We have lift off of Anne McLean to Vite St. Jacques and Oleg Kononenko blasting through the Kazakh sky to the International Space Station. Everything looking good so far. Good first stage performance. Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust. Everything is fine on board. 30 seconds into flight. All parameters are nominal. 30 seconds in. Everything's still looking good. First stage will burn for two minutes. First two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Stabilization is steady. 50 seconds. Uh, chamber pressure is nominal. Everything looking good. Vehicle is stable. Good first stage performance. The ve uh, vehicle now traveling over 1,100 miles per hour. Flight, everything is nominal. A 80 seconds, all parameters are nominal. Copy. Everything is One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, everything's still looking good. The stage again will burn for, the f for until 1 minute, 58 seconds into the flight, and you'll see those four strap-on boosters jettison. 100 seconds. Copy. One hundred and ten seconds. Escape tower has been um, jettisoned, and those four strap bomb boosters also jettisoned. They've completed their job and will drop away at an altitude of twenty-eight miles. Confirm. Now transitioning to an animation, you can see from the launch pad losing sight of the Soyuz, but getting good for, um, second stage performance. Uh, we're feeling fine, and everything is excellent on, on board. Uh, copy, and uh, our vehicle is stable. 150 seconds into flight. Second stage, this core stage, still performing uh, well. The launch shroud has been jettisoned, revealing the Soyuz underneath. Launch shroud jettison confirmed. This second stage will continue to burn until 4 minutes 43 seconds into the flight. Second stage separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of a good second stage separation. The third stage is lit. Will burn for about four minutes and two seconds, providing 67,000 pounds of thrust.
Third stage separation is confirmed. And we have confirmation of third stage separation. Single liquid fueled engine has shut down and dropped away at an altitude of 126 statute miles. Congratulations with the uh, Everything's still looking good. The third stage is performing an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Thank you very much for your support. Antares, this is Mark. And we have confirmation of the uh, spacecraft separation. So use capsule and crew safely in orbit. The spacecraft is automatically executing its pre program commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. And it looks like we have some video communication back. We might experience another lag. Uh, but while we have it, you can see the International Space Station right in the crosshairs of the Soyuz vehicle. That's now uh, just under 800 meters away from the International Space Station. So the uh, Soyuz now in a station keeping mode. Very quickly assessed uh, approach looks good and has initiated the final approach command. The range is 178. You can see the range uh, rate starting to increase as the Soyuz begins its final approach. Great views of the Soyuz MS-11 craft approaching the space-facing port of the Russian side of the space station. Just 10 meters away, docking mechanism powered up on the Soyuz, stand by for contact and capture. Uh, approximately 10 meters. Copy. The target is in the center. Yeah, it's actually not easy to turn the periscope display. The target is in the center. We are at three meters. The target is in the center. We are standing by for the capture. The rate is 0.12. There are some misalignments. We are standing by for the capture. Yes, capture is confirmed. Good contact. Mechanical capture is confirmed. Copy all. Moscow State. And capture. And we have capture and um, station is in free drift. Copy. We go to page six. Station is in free drift. Good contact and capture of the Soyuz MS-11 craft. 11:33 a.m. Central Time, as the station was flying 251 statute miles over the Atlantic Ocean. Yep, we see you. And uh, getting a good view. We're getting uh, Alexander Gerst there. Opening the hatch, you can see Serena Anand Chancellor, NASA astronaut, and in the background now, in the foreground, uh, Sergei Prokopiev. This is the crew of Expedition 57. They've been there since June aboard their MSO.
and confirmed hatch opening, 1.37 p.m. Central Time. The International Space Station was 250 miles over the southern coast of Yemen. First out is NASA's uh, Anne McLean. Being united with the Expedition 57 crew, her first space flight. Next out is David St. Jacques of the Canadian Space Agency. A warm welcome from the Expedition 57 crew. Bringing up the rear is uh, Oleg Kononenko from Roscosmos, Soyuz commander for the uh, MS-11 mission that launched just earlier this morning at 5.31 a.m. Central Time.